Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, we're going to create this. First of all, open Adobe After Effects, and create a new composition. Then rename it to Neon Logo Animation or whatever name you like. Set the resolution to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Frame rate to 30 frames per second. Set the duration to 8 seconds. Then hit OK. Now, go to the file, and import the required files. You can download the texture image. The download link is in the description. Now, drag the logo to the, the composition. Select the logo, then press S to open scale properties. Decrease the logo scale. Now, right click on logo. And choose pre-compose. Rename it to logo. Go to the layer. And choose auto trace. Leave all settings as default. Then hit OK. Select the logo. Press U on the keyboard, and delete all masks keyframes. Again select the logo. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect saber. The saber is a free plugin, and you can download it for free from videocopilot.net. Drag and drop the effect to the screen. Go to effect controls. Then under the customize core, change the core type to layer mask. Now, go to the render settings, and change the composite setting to transparent. Now, change the preset to Patronus. Let me change the glow color. I am going with the dark purple. But you can change any color you like. Make sure, you are at the first frame. Then select the logo layer. And change the start size to 0%. And change the start offset to 100%. Now, add the keyframe on end size, end offset, and mask evolution. Go to about 2 seconds on a timeline. Change the end offset to 0%. Select the logo layer, and press U to open keyframes. Go to about 4 seconds. and add the keyframes of end size, and end offset. Finally, go to about 7 seconds, and change the end size to 0%, and change the end offset to 100%. Then change the mask evolution to 2 rounds. Let's preview it. Cool. It looks amazing to me. Let's create a solid black background layer. Select the logo, and enable the 3D option. Go to the layer, then U and select camera. Go to the first frame. Select the camera layer and press P to open position. Change the value to minus 1600. And add a keyframe. Now, go to about 7 seconds. And change the value to minus 1450. Select the logo layer, and change the blending mode from normal to add. Keep the logo layer selected, 
and press Ctrl D to make it duplicate. Change the blending mode from add to normal. Rename the layer to reflection. Select the reflection layer. Press R to open rotation properties. And change the X rotation to minus 180 degrees. Drag the reflection logo just like this. Now, go to the Projects tab. And create a new composition. Rename it to the Texture. Drag the texture image to the new composition. Decrease the scale. Again create a new composition. Rename it to the floor. And drag the texture composition to it. Enable the 3D option, go to the layer, then New, and choose Camera. Now, select the Texture Image layer, select the Rotation tool, and rotate the image just like this, then select the Move tool and drag the image to the downside. Select the layer, go to Effects and Presets, search the Effect Motion tile, drag and drop to the screen. Change the output width and height to 250, and check the mirror edges. Now, go back to the Neon Logo Animation Composition. Drag the Floor Composition, just above the Reflection Layer. Hide the Floor Layer. Now, go to the Layer, then New, and select Adjustment Layer. Drag the Adjustment Layer just above the reflection layer. Go to the effects and presets. Search the effect compound blur. Drag it to the adjustment layer. Change the blur layer to floor. Then change the maximum blur to 185. Again search the effect CC glass. Drag and drop to the adjustment layer. Under the surface, change the bump map to floor. Change the property to 0, and softness to 6, and displacement to 5. Now, under the shading, change the roughness to Let's preview it again. Amazing. Let me show you to make a color control layer. Go to layer, then new. And select null object. Rename it to neon color. Right click on it. And go to effect. And then expression control and select color control. Press E to open effects. Select the logo layer. Under the saber effect, hold alt key on the keyboard, and click the glow color watch icon to add an expression. Now, drag the pick whip to the color control. Do the same for the reflection layer. Cool. Now, we can easily change the neon color for our logo and reflection.
Our neon logo animation is ready. And I am happy with the results. Please hit the like button if you find this video helpful. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you next time on Rizat Graphics. Thanks for watching. Good luck.